Here's a very nice uh, Honer uh, Erica, keys of G and C. Uh, we've done a bunch of work on it. It's been, uh, it had a, a number of rusty reeds in there. I don't have a, a photo of it, but uh, there were a number of reeds. Some I could de-rust and put a little bit of light oil on them uh, with the valve in place. Other ones, the, the rust was so uh, deep in there, I had to remove the valve and um, uh, get the rust out and then uh, revalve it. And, and a few of them actually required uh, pulling the reed plate off and working on the opposite side. Um, what else? Um, I think almost all the reed plates needed it, so I, I rewaxed uh, uh, all of them, I believe. Uh, I did add, uh, I don't think I have a picture of this instrument, but I, I added an anti-resonance crossbar between the treble, two treble reed blocks. I'll show a picture of what that looks like fr from another instrument. Uh, what else? I did find that the uh, blocks were slightly uh, cupped, uh, so I took them over to my you know, glass tabletop sanding table uh, and uh, flattened them out. Uh, so that they'll seal uh, properly when in the instrument. Uh, what else? It did have uh, a broken reed. Here's here it is. You can see right through it. So I had to replace that. Um, and like I say, probably the biggest pro issue was uh, was that rust in there. But I got it all together and uh, sort of tweak tuned it. It really wasn't in bad shape. <laughs> back to its uh, owner uh, who uh, lives locally here in western New York. Owner Erica and GC. Oh I also added these, uh, it didn't have any uh, shoulder strap brackets so I've added a new pair on it. Owner Erica.